Welcome to Miss Dana's Story Time. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. <sighs> the next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. The end. We're Going on a Bear Hunt by Michael Rosen and Helen Oxenbury. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, grass, long wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no. We've got to go through it. Swishy swashy, swishy swashy, swishy swashy. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a river, a deep cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Splash, splosh, splash, splosh, splash, splash. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, mud, thick, oozy mud. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. A forest, a big, dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a snowstorm. A swirling, whirling snowstorm. 
We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a cave. A narrow, gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. Tippy-toe, tippy-toe, tippy-toe. What's that? One shiny wet nose, two big furry ears, two big googly eyes. It's a bear! Quick, back through the cave. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Back through the snowstorm. Hoo, woo, hoo, woo. Back through the forest. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Back through the mud. Squelch, squirch. Squelch, squirch. Back through the river. Splash, 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 splash. Back through the grass. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Get to our front door. Open the door. Up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the door. Back downstairs. Shut the door. Back upstairs. Into the bedroom. Into bed under the covers. We're not going on a bear hunt again. The End Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sindak The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another his mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night day and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are and when he came to the place where the wild things are they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws till Max said be still and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. <laughs> Stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. Thanks for reading with me.
See you next time.